So this is a giant trunk. So I'm going to have to open it and take everything out to save time. Otherwise, this video will be an hour long <laughs> unboxing. <laughs> be right back. I forgot to say hi everyone in the first part. So hi everyone, it's Vicki. Welcome to my channel. Excuse the voice. Anyway, I just took everything out of my trunk. I didn't unfold anything, so I really haven't seen it. I just got it out of plastic. And it's going to start with shoes. Two pair. The first pair are by Michael Fisher. And they're a slide-in. The braided. I really like these. They're kind of heavy because of this big heel. But I like them because they're a little... You know, I don't... I had some dressy black shoes and they literally rotted apart. That happens in Florida. <laughs> don't know why. And same with my navy ones. They're starting to go too. So, and the next pair is by... Sarto. That's not a, br a brand that I'm familiar with. And it's interesting when I first opened them, I thought, well, that's a weird brown color. It's kind of a goldish brown. And then I realized these exactly match a purse that I bought yesterday. If they, and they got this cute little edging. Oh, you can't really pick it up. It's just, yeah, it's just a cute little edging. So, and a small heel. So they're a step above flip flops that I normally wear all the time. They look a little nicer than that. So next item is underwear. Um, I won't be trying these on, but I'll show them to you. They are $20. It's funny because, you know, they have those outfit suggestions. And <laughs> they have two outfit suggestions for the underwear. But they are super light. I mean, like a feather light. And they have lace around the back part. So I'm not fond of the color, but you know what? They're underwear. And they seem to be pretty seamless, except, you know, right there. Yeah. All right, so next is a t-shirt by Madewell. I've been getting into white t-shirts lately. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's got a little bit of a curved hem, which I like. And I don't know if I like the sleeves so much. And I definitely probably won't like the neck but I will give it a try. All right, so next is, ooh, this feels heavier, sweatery like Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, it's a, it looks to be a three-quarter sweatery thing. A little bit of a curve at the bottom, maybe. Uh, a V-neck, size 2X by Nick and Zoe. It's nice quality sweater. It is a light sweater, but it is a sweater. Yeah, I don't know if I want to invest $98 living in Florida. But if I live somewhere else, it, it does feel like nice quality and a good layering piece. You know, you could put a t-shirt under it or a turtleneck under it, but I don't know about Florida. Okay, so the next item are by Chic Denim, size 20, the Edit High Rise Shorts. Okay, so they're Bermuda length, I see that. Oh, the front's kind of cute. <laughs> it's kind of retro. <laughs> It, um, I remember seeing these kind of fronts back when there was pleating in jeans and they were acid wash usually. Oh, City Chic. Okay, so it's that's why it says Chic Denim. Okay, I'm familiar with that brand. It's in a lot of style boxes. Okay, next item. Oh, these appear to be bicycle or exercise shorts in a pretty floral pattern, actually. Huh, they're lightweight. I like that about them. They feel a little lighter. Um, than some of them I've seen. They are by BP, which if you don't know, that is their house brand Brass Plum. Um, I used to wear that a lot when I was a young person living in Seattle and shopping at Nordstrom. Alright, so now this is a top. Does this go with that? The color looks right. The style doesn't look like it would go with it though. Okay, so what I can see, this is a corally color and it has tied on the sleeves. So the dress. Well, first off, I can't quite figure this dress out, if I'm in it right or not in it right. The ruching is here, and it's, yeah, definitely would have to have shape wear. I'm actually wearing the underwear too, which I didn't realize was one size fits all. I didn't think I was going to get it on at first, but yeah, I did. Um, yeah, see how it's got different layers and parts to it? Yeah, it's not for me. I think this... Um, it's almost like this dress is made for someone who's more like this than someone who's like this. But maybe I'm wrong. I'm trying to show you the coat, but I'm still working on getting it unbuttoned. 
I didn't really, it's got zips, I mean it's got buttons and it's got snaps and it's got all kinds of stuff. It's a thick, heavy coat. I wasn't even going to try it on, but I decided, well, okay, it's all messed up. <laughs> it's so big and so many parts to it, it's hard to, okay, there we go. All right, so there it is. You don't, <laughs> I turned on the fan <laughs> when I decided I was going to try this coat on. Yeah, almost got big pockets here, but they're kind of odd because they're in the front. They'd really be better on the sides, although it's probably way more flattering in the front. Uh, it's big and roomy. That's lots of room. And like I said before, it is corduroy with this print on the outside, and it is inside. You can't tell because it's got a lining, but between the lining and the corduroy is quilted fabric. I can't, I think the only place you can see it, I guess you can't see it at all. But anyway, it's uh, snuggly. This is great if I was cold or something and live somewhere cold. I would like this a lot. Yeah, I would really like it. But living in Florida, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. It's super cute. Super comfy, roomy. It's just snuggly, but I don't know. I have to really think about that. Just the dichotomy of this dress and this jacket cracks me up. <laughs> in keeping with the clothes that are too hot for Florida, um, I thought I'd just get the hot ones out of the way. So this sweater has a, a rib here that stops here and it feels too short to be long sleeve. I mean it almost is long sleeve but not quite. So I'm thinking because of that rib it's supposed to maybe be turned up and maybe be a three quarter. I forgot to bring my phone in here to check and see how it was styled. But yeah, it's a, it's, it's a lighter sweater and it's nice really know that I need this. And then the Levi's. Um, the Levi's are buttoned up. You can't see over that, can you? They're buttoned up. And uh, this top one is pretty tight. I pulled it way up. <laughs> They're way up high on me right now. And the length of them is shorter. It's a weird length for me. I would have to actually wear them as capris, you know, fold them and wear them as capris. Even if this is the newest thing in the lakes, I think I'd be uncomfortable with it. Uh, yeah, the thighs are a little snug. They don't, they're not terrible, but what happens is I think they're good, they make, make it kind of look funny around the knees when they're like that sometimes. And then I think the butt doesn't look right either. Is it just me? So I don't know. The fit, I guess the overall fit feels off on these to me. So the top. Um, between the color and the sleeves, which aren't sleeveless, <laughs> I would say this could pass as a Florida fall top. It's pretty cute. It's like a t-shirt material, you know, woven cotton. Yeah. So it's pretty cute. The neck isn't as high as it, I thought it was at first, so it's doable. Yeah, it's cute. The bottoms. They would be cute. <laughs> They're a pretty stretchy kind of denim -y stuff. They're pretty fairly stretchy, which makes them show everything in my legs, <laughs> all the dimples or whatever. And then there's something weird going on in the back of the legs. I don't, from what I could see, I'll see more when I watch this video back. But yeah, so they're not flattering. Um, they are too tight at an area of my body that is of most concern to me. But they are cute if they fit better. Oh, I forgot to show you the top. All right, so they have a little zipper. It's not a very long zipper at all. And then they snap. Yeah. No one wants to see my skin. <laughs> all right, so that's them with the top. Okay, all right, so we'll start with the Madewell t-shirt. And um, yeah, it's just a regular t-shirt. It does have a bit of a scoop. Um, sleeves, the way they're made, there's those ones that kind of stick out a little, not crazy. But the top is just, the, this part is awfully high for me. Yeah, I don't find that all that comfortable. On the flip side, the shorts 
are very comfortable. Uh, they are actually kind of too big, but I guess if they went through the washing machine and dryer, if maybe they would shrink up. I don't know this fabric, maybe not. In fact, I haven't pulled all the way up here because there's that much distance between the crotch. So they are super high-waisted. And for me, well, they're high-waisted. For me, they're super high-waisted. Uh, and they are a little, you know, they're not as tight as I usually expect bicycle shorts to be. They're a little looser. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how well they're going to hold down at the knees. They're very cute, and they are so light. Between these and that light underwear, <laughs> Uh, if it weren't for the band around the knees, I almost feel like I don't have anything on the bottoms. I honestly, they are that, that um, light and, you know, they feel good. So, just to show you the whole thing. Hi everyone, I'm back with, after my try on of my trunk club items. And now I'm going to decide what it's going to go on a hanger. And what's gonna go back in the trunk over here? I'm not gonna really draw. I'll just put them on top of there. I want to fold them nice and stuff. Uh, first item on the pile are the shorts, the bicycle shorts. Not the perfect fit, but you know what? They're ten bucks. I love the pattern. I don't have any pattern bicycle shorts, uh, and I think I would wear them lounging around the house with a big sloppy t-shirt or sleep in them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put them on. Uh, Hanger. First item on the hanger. So the next item is the big white t-shirt. Well, it's not really a big white t-shirt, but it's a t-shirt, the Madewell t-shirt. And the neck, just too high for me. Um, yeah, just too high for me. And I think I've bought two white tops recently, so, you know, t-shirt-ish. So, in the trunk. <laughs> next are the shorts, which I think are cute. And uh, they could even probably, you could even probably, uh, well, you'd have to do some work on it, but you could probably make them shorter if you legs aren't as long as mine. Um, yeah, the that they put that, I don't know what in it, you know, like like how tops can be clingy. They do that in, in denim sometime, and they just make, and if it's a dark denim, maybe not so bad, but the white denim just shows everything in your legs, every little lump and bump. So, in the trunk. All right, so this one, I was kind of on the fence about. Um, but you know what? I, I just like the col fall color and everything, and uh, I don't wear a lot of fall clothes because I live in Florida. But this could be spring, summer, fall. It could be all of it, you know, basically. So, and the price was right. Remember, it had a discount. So I think it was 30 maybe? I can't remember. Anyway, so it's going to be my second item on the hanger. Now, the other, another item that's on the hanger <laughs> are the underwear. But I'm not going to put them on there. And I'm wearing them, so, <laughs> yeah. Next item are the Levi's. And uh, they're just so heavy and so hot and an odd length for me. I'm not used to that length. And a little, little tight in the thighs, which they were okay. I mean, I wouldn't even say they were tight. I'd say they were a little snug. But I think sometimes it makes it look funny at the knee. It like um, gathers fabric there or something, kind of that Jodspur look. And I thought that had a little bit of that going on, but even if it didn't, they're just not for me. So, to the trunk. Next is the sweater, I think. Yes, the sweater. I think the sweater's really nice. I like the sweater. And uh, if I wanted to purchase a sweater, I would consider it. But it's uh, was a little spendy for something that I don't really, wouldn't really have a lot of wear out of. If I live somewhere else where maybe fall and was a little cooler, but it's not, it's hot. Today is what, September, I don't know, 29th? And my husband's in the pool. Yeah, it's hot out there. I would be in the pool too, but you know, I hear all the things, all the stories from childhood about not getting your head wet when you have a cold. All right, next is the dress, which I thought looked ridiculous on me. It, it actually, by the time I took it off, because I had worn it around a bit, little bit, I went in the other room and did something on the computer for a couple minutes. 
and by the time I took it off it had actually settled into place where it was supposed to be and the crossover should be between your knees which wasn't flattering either but I don't know I, I stand by that this dress is made for someone kind of long and lean I think so longer bodied kind of thing so anyway I might be wrong there might be someone else in my size that this looks fantastic on but I think the fabric's a little light it doesn't it's not your friend or it wasn't my friend either so in the trunk and then the last item no it isn't I got shoes don't I the last item is the jacket which I thought was cute and I liked it and it's comfy and cozy don't need it not keeping it but then I went in the bathroom and put it on just to see how it looked and it looks ridiculous on me I think and especially the length of it it is a very odd length for me I thought it hit in a weird place but it's going back even if it did fit beautifully I'm glad it didn't so then I wasn't tempted to keep it <laughs> okay so I really like these and the color and they like I said they went with the new purse that I bought but they have this thing here where it's kind of tight here not a lot of clearance it looks like a lot more clearance on the camera than it is in person and they press on the nail bed of my toes kind of and I find that terribly uncomfortable and that is one of the reasons I just am never hardly ever successful at mail order shoes like this have you been drinking did you pass out what happened there <laughs> but what I was saying is that um yeah it's that this issue that makes it hard for me to get mail order shoes and then this pair I had these on for a minute and uh I did like them. They were comfortable. They stayed on really well. This part's kind of tight, but that keeps them on because a lot of times I slip and slide in these shoes and they are definitely not too small. In fact, in length, oh, that's Eddie. In length, I could probably go down the half size to an eight, but then this might be too tight. But I really like them. The only thing holding me back on this is the price. They're $150. However, I don't buy dressy shoes very often because I don't need a lot of pairs of them and I think I would get a lot of use out of these maybe <laughs> so I'm considering them but I'm not going to say that they're on the hanger just yet I've got to think about it I have checked out my order except for these this is the only thing left I got to think about it you know now that I'm retired <laughs> but I do need some dressy shoes and I really um, don't have them right now so um, maybe I'll, I'll do a little internet surfing and then decide then. But anyway, thanks for watching my video. I appreciate that you came to my channel. I hope you'll give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed. We'd love to have you and, uh, have a good day, evening, weekend. <laughs>